Welcome to Toffee TV, it is the Everton News Daily. Now obviously yesterday news broke that it seemed like a deal had been agreed with the Lille centre-back, Gabriel. A uh, lot of talk about that, been a lot of talk about that for the last couple of months. A um, little bit of movement in that story today. The Lille president, Gerard Lopez, has come out and said that the player is closer to one club than to others, but... There is no deal being done yet. And also, this comes off the back that apparently the player has done a medical um, for Everton and a deal was agreed. But in light of the coronavirus situation, um, Everton have put a hold on that deal. Um, and I think, as Baz mentioned yesterday on the show, that comes down to Everton having to reevaluate the market once this is all done. You know, any value for a player that they held before the market will be before the coronavirus will be drastically lower when we come out of this so um i think everton feel like they've got everything in place with the player but i've asked, according to reports i've asked not to move forward with it just yet till this is all done and dusted and that's a very sensible um approach that does of course leave the door open to other people uh, other clubs to come in and maybe you know Put an offer in, but Everton probably think, well, he's either signing for us or he's not signing for us. So um, we want to do the best we can. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, and I think that just with the presence of Leo coming out saying, you know, he, he looks like he will, but he does want to move. He does want a new. He does want a new. Uh, a new project, and all the rumours seem to fit the fact that he, you know, he wants to come to Everton. Whether that happens, that's another thing. And obviously the situation we're in at the moment means this deal can't be wrapped up um, anytime soon by the looks of it. So we'll just have to wait and see. Everton are in a good position to get the player, but we'll have to just wait and see what, what happens moving forward. Um, another player, Ever well, an Everton player this time, um, some news on John Joe Kenny, uh, apparently reports in Germany are saying that that he will come back to Everton next season and, and uh, Carlo Ancelotti has seen enough and heard enough to give him a try next season. Um, again, this might come down to the fact that with everything going on, Everton might have to cut the losses in terms of bringing a player in at right back. I very much doubt Chelsea will have the money to buy the player. There would be the possibility of another year on loan. Um, but... Everton do need a new right back, and Everton might just think, well, for a year it might be worth just giving John Joe Kenny a go, um, you know, in the squad and see whether he can break into the first team. I think this next season is going to be a lot of things are going to be put on hold, or it's going to be a very short term year. I think in terms of things like sponsorship deals and all kinds, I think I can see it. I could see Everton having like a one year sponsor and things like that. I can see a lot of things just being put on hold and having short term. Um, short-term solutions because of everything that's going on in the world. So, good opportunity for John Joe to come back um, from his loan. Another player who's been offered to Everton on loan apparently is Coutinho. Apparently, Barcelona are desperate to get rid of the players and one of the clubs they have informed, according to reports, is Everton, who, and they would, as they would like to see the player go on loan for the year. They're desperate to claw some of that money back that they uh, paid to Liverpool and see Everton as an option. He's obviously been on loan at Bayern Munich, but um, I can't really see that one being a goer, personally, not with his ties to Liverpool. and Just the player himself, I just can't see him being the kind of player we'd be looking at. Um, he's certainly not necessarily what we need right now. He's a great player, but is he what we need right now? I, I'm, I'm not sure about that. So, we're, again, another another report today. Uh, Carlo Ancelotti said that he's, he's not really keeping in touch with the players. He's had a few phone calls, but he's not really keeping in touch. He's staying in touch with his staff and the people at Everton uh, daily, he said. And obviously, Everton, the Everton players have been broken in, up into small groups to do um, to do their individual work. And also go through video analysis as well. Um, Ever the, the team at Everton have been looking, the scouting team and the video analysts have been looking at uh, mistakes and things that the players can be better. And that's one of the things they've been working on while... The uh, the lockdown's been happening. Going over video videos with the players to, you know, so, uh, uh, because training is not always done on the pitch. Training sometimes done on well, not sometimes. A lot of the time is done in the classroom as well. And anyone who watches the documentaries on things like Manchester City, but other sports as well, like NFL, will see how important um, video 
is to going over old mistakes. And you you know you hear a lot of um, talk of going over games again and again and again and stopping it and all this. Well, this is one of the processes Everton have gone through. They've gone they've gone through the videos through the season and 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 are relaying that to the to the uh, the players now. And Carl Manchester is getting daily feedback from the people doing that to to get a good idea of um, of of what's going on with the players as we go into um, another few weeks of lockdown. Um, which is which is good, good going through all the processes as you said. You, there's you can always find the positives in things, and if players are at home, stuck at home, and they haven't got you know much to do, then give them something to do. Give them that homework that can improve um, their playing their playing ability. Um, and hopefully some of them are doing language and things like that as well to improve their communication. It all helps, and that's the kind of thing they can be doing now in the downtime. Uh, on the Premier League, they held a meeting today. Uh, apparently, all the teams are united they want the season to restart and they were shown some various models of how that can happen um they had a two-hour meeting there's no indication that anyone wants the premier league scrapped or you know a, a date there's no date for when it needs to be done by or needs to restart apparently all the teams are united united and wanting to get the season done um and it'll just be a case of what works what is the what is the right model to get to the to get the season done. Of course, we don't know when it will start, and of course, it will start behind closed doors. There's very little chance we'll all be in stadiums, um, watching Everton. Probably till it might even be next year. People are saying eighteen months, but because of uh, until we get um, you know, something to combat the uh, the coronavirus. So. Um, Germany, of course, have said it's going to be the th till at least the thirty first of August. Um, they'll be having games behind closed doors. Theirs might start as as early as in four weeks' time, um, but the Premier League obviously wouldn't be till probably the beginning of June, I imagine. So um, as far as the Premier League, they uh, are considered they've had very successful talks today. Um, and just on a lighter note, Andre Gomez will be representing Everton in a e Premier League tournament next week. Um, for any of you who don't have a clue what that means, he will be playing FIFA Twenty against players, other players from Premier League teams. Each Premier League team will have a representative. Ours is Andre Gomez. The the draw apparently is Monday night, and they'll start Tuesday, and it will go all the way through to next Saturday or Sunday, I think. Um, so it's just a lighter way for gives fans something to watch, something to get behind. Um, and Andre Gomez will be our representative. Andre Gomez does actually have a, a background in computer games i think he part owns a a um a, a team which play competitively um on i think rpg rpg games so he does have he is a big game he has a background in the game and he will be evidence representative so um something for us to watch next week something to us uh, someone to get behind and who better to get behind than, than andre gomez so uh, there you go give this video a like don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already if you want more great videos join us over on Patreon. The link is in the description and you know, stay safe and have a cappuccino on me. See you later.